Bugs just love bamboo, and even though I pressure treated this piece of bamboo, they're still eating it. That's because not all methods of treating bamboo are created equal. I'll dive into the differences of the various treatment processes of bamboo in a different video. But today I'm going to need to replace that bamboo and treat some more bamboo to help finish off a bamboo treehouse that I've been building. The bamboo I'm going to replace it with will be treated through a process called cold soak immersion. This is one of the best ways to treat bamboo. Not only because it is one of the most reliable methods, but you can treat a lot of bamboo at the same time. First we need a tank to soak our bamboo in. You can just use an old Intex kiddie pool or make a setup like this one here that I made with a pond liner. Just make sure that it is out of the rain. I filled my tank with rainwater harvested from the roof and then added a 5% solution of equal parts borax and boric acid to the rainwater which makes up the other 95% of the solution. And as long as it's under a roof protected from the rain, we can use this solution indefinitely by adjusting the levels of ingredients as needed. Mosquitoes won't breed in this because of the borax that's in the water, so it's safe to leave it sitting around. All right, now we have our tank ready. The next thing we need to do is cut down some bamboo. I was gifted this tool by Nautiti to try out and review for you guys. And so far, this has turned out to be one of my most favorite tools in the garden. And for bamboo, this has been the most perfect tool I've found so far to cut down bamboo quick and easily. It's quiet, the battery lasts forever, and I could cut down tons of bamboo with it. Now when you go to select your bamboo, make sure that it's mature. And if you don't know how to choose a mature comb, be sure to check out this video that I'm linking to at the top of the screen here. Once you have all of your bamboo cut out of the clump, go ahead and cut it to size. And before you put the bamboo into the tank, we have to prep it. We have to make sure to clean it off, get rid of any dirt, debris, moss that may be growing on the outside. And we have to ensure that the solution can get everywhere. So we have to either pierce the inner nodes that are inside the bamboo with a long piece of rebar that can pierce those nodes, or you can drill two quarter inch holes between each node. And later on, you can fill those holes back up with a bamboo peg. Now that you have it all prepped and ready to go, we can put our bamboo poles into the soaking tank. You can place as many poles as you can fit into the tank at one time and make sure to weigh them down if they begin to float up to the surface. I'm using poles that are just a few hours from being cut, but you can use poles that are as old as 48 hours. Anything past that and it's too late to treat your bamboo. Since this is the cold immersion soak, these poles will need to sit for about two weeks. There's another version of this where the water gets heated to 100 degrees Celsius, treating the bamboo in about eight hours. But this method takes a lot of resources to keep the water boiling for so long. So most people use this cold immersion soak method when treating their bamboo. When your bamboo is done soaking, you can go ahead and drain it back out into the solution. You can reuse the solution for future treatment of bamboo. Then go ahead and sand it out to dry, whole side down in the sun for about one to three months. Make sure to prop it up off the ground and rotate the bamboo to ensure an even exposure to the sun every two to three days. Once these poles are dry, we can go ahead and store it under cover out of the sun so that we can use it on future projects or we can go ahead and use it right away. This is one of my favorite ways to treat bamboo. You're able to treat a bunch of bamboo at the same time, but it does have its limitations. What are these limitations and how does it compare with other methods of treating bamboo? You're gonna wanna watch this video to find out. And until next time, everybody, Thanks for watching. Ahoy ho!